my name is Laura and I'm going to take you through a little yoga for the shoulders just to create some awareness and to provide some care. So first off what I would like you to do is just have your arms come down to the side. Bring the shoulders up, down, and away from the ears. And it doesn't matter if you're bringing the shoulders up and down the front or up and down the back. Just create some movement here. And then reverse direction. And then find your point of stillness. Okay, now what I want you to do is place your hands onto your thighs and lean back just a little bit. And this gives your shoulders an opportunity to come in line with the hips and then bring the chin back so that the ears are in line with the shoulders. So when you're working with the neck, you're not too far flexed or too far extended. So when you do um, any sort of like hyperflexion or maybe even some lateral flexion, the vertebra are in line and there's not a higher concern of pulling something out of alignment. So you want to try to keep the ears in line with the shoulders. And if you tend to round in a lot, bring the arms down to the side and open the palms forward. That creates some gentle external rotation. So, okay, let's do that right now. Ears are in line with the shoulders, arms are down to the side, palms are facing forward, giving yourself some external rotation. Okay. Place the, the left hand to the outside of the left hip and reach your right arm up high. Try to imagine that you're drawing both shoulder blades or scapulas down as you reach the left or the right fingertips up and root the left hand down. And then take a nice full inhale and practicing keeping the ears in line with the shoulders. Exhale, come over to the left. Little lateral flexion. And then as you inhale, draw yourself up. Exhale, set the right hand down, reach the left arm up high to the sky. Same thing here. Practice rooting the scapulas down and away from the ears, giving yourself some space. Ears are in line with the shoulders. This is just practice and some awareness. Exhale, slowly side bend to the right. Great, draw yourself back up and set both arms back down. Awesome. Bring your arms out to a T. My arms are going to move out of the screen. And then try to drop the shoulders down and away from the ears. And flex the fingertips up. And then flex the fingers down. Great. Flex the fingers up. And flex the fingers down. And this should just give you some nice awareness along the arm line. Up. And fingers come down. And you should feel this beautiful um, movement from the shoulders to the end of the fingertips. Great. All right, so from here, I want you to bring your left elbow in front of you. Fingertips come up high to the sky. Right elbow fits right into the left or somewhere in between the elbow and the wrist. And then try to keep the elbows at shoulder height. Ears are still in line with the shoulders. Okay, flip your right palm, uh, thumb up and then right thumb down. This time, um, flip your right palm up, stay here for two cycles of breath. One more breath. And then right palm down, or thumb down, palm out, two cycles of breath. Try to bring the elbows back to shoulder height. And then slowly release the arms. Maybe do some circles. And then bring your arms back out to a T. Same thing. So bring the right elbow in front of you. Bend the right elbow. Right fingertips come high. Left elbow fits into the right um, nook of the elbow. Or slide your wrist a little closer. And then slowly bring the elbows at shoulder height. Left thumb up. Left thumb down, left thumb up, left thumb down. This time keep the left thumb high. Take a nice full inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Flip the palm, 
Palm out, thumb down. One more cycle of breath. Just kidding, one more. And then slowly release the arms. Great. This time, bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, draw your fists down, and then slowly reach your fist over towards your left hip. It may rest on the left hip, but even the act of reaching is nice. This is where keeping the ears in line with the shoulders is going to be beneficial because if you're tight, especially in the front line, your natural reaction is going to be to hinge forward. So try to keep the shoulders in line, and then you can play around with your left elbow out or in a little bit more. Great. Take a nice full inhale. Exhale, drop the left ear and left shoulder together. You should feel this nice stretch in the right side. One more cycle of breath. And then to come out, roll the chin along the chest. Bring the elbows back towards center. And then draw yourself back up. Great, slowly guide your fist over to the right side, maybe change the cross of the thumbs. Just come up nice and tall, just kind of adjust of where your arms and where your elbows need to be. And then take your full inhale. Exhale, drop the right ear and right shoulder together. Two breaths. Last breath. And then take your full inhale. As you exhale, drop the chin along the chest, roll back to center, fists come behind you. Take your full inhale, draw yourself on up. Maybe look up towards the sky, opening up the front body. Release the arms back into center. Full inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Okay, coming back to your figure four. So bring the left elbow to about shoulder height, bring your right arm in between, or set yourself up this time. Slide the right wrist to the crook of the left elbow and then stack your left forearm on top of your right wrist. So this is a fire log pose um, with the arms. So you can stay here if this feels good to you, but if you felt pretty comfortable in the figure four pose, come there and then slowly bring the back of the palms together or palm to palm. Okay, so now you're in your eagle arm pose and try to bring the elbows at shoulder height. So let's just take a nice full inhale, bringing the elbows a little higher than the shoulders. Exhale, elbows go a little lower. Inhale, elbows come up a little higher. Exhale, elbows drop a little lower. And then find some stillness with the elbows at shoulder height. And then take the thumb closest to your forehead and place it in between your eyebrows. All right. From here, I'm not really worried about the elbows being at shoulder height. But if you are, you can go for it. And we'll just stay here for two cycles of breath. And your only job is to keep the scapulas dropping down and away from the ears. One more full cycle. And then as you exhale, slowly release your arms. Bring the right hand behind you, left arm comes on top. And then slowly walk your hands together. If not, focus on dropping the right elbow and the left elbow comes high for our cow face arms. Once again, ears stay in line with the shoulders and try to be mindful that you're not um, drawing too far forward. All right, nice full inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath here. And exhale. Great. Slowly release and let's switch sides. So this time the right elbow comes forward. The left elbow comes in between. And then slowly bring back the hands together or palm to palm. Coming into your eagle arm pose. First and foremost, inhale. Elbows come higher than shoulders. Exhale, elbows come lower. 
Inhale, elbows come higher. Exhale, elbows drop lower. And then this time, whatever thumb is closest to your third eye, so if your palm, the, or back of the hand, back of the hand, it'll be the left thumb, but if your palm, the palm, it should be your right thumb. Place it in between your eyebrows, and just keep the shoulders dropping down and away from the ears. Two full cycles of breath. And then finish up your exhale, slowly release your arms. This time, bring your left hand behind you. Right hand comes behind the right shoulder. Interlace your fingers best as can be. And keep your right elbow drawing up high, left elbow drawing down low. Take a full inhale. And exhale. One more full inhale. And exhale. And then slowly release your arms. Maybe make some circles. And then if you want to do one more thing, bring the arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. Draw your fists down. Look on up. And then as you exhale, slowly start folding forward. Try to keep your sit bones rooted into the ground. And the torso will lie on the legs. So... The fist will stay at the back of the legs, but then if you want, you can slowly draw the fist up high to the sky, full inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And exhale, and then draw yourself back up as you inhale. And release on the exhale. Take one more breath with me. Let's take a full inhale in. And exhale. Great. Thank you so much for practicing this um, shoulder awareness um, with me. Take any of these poses that you would like. And if you want, um, I showed everything in a two breath count, but feel free to stay as long as you know, 10 full deep cycles of breath, that should be about two minutes. So anywhere from like two breaths to 10 breaths or whatever you feel comfortable with. So I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, always reach out. And thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Bye.